everybody welcome to knowledge is key i'm your host key renee today's like interesting we're going to be talking about the exact thing that we're doing right here podcasting um podcasting is the future like you know i'm gonna say it one more time podcasting is the future if you haven't hopped on board it's the future <laughs> it's coming it's just like you know gas and electric it's electric yeah. like you know yeah. so i have keith good news with me keith good news is the founder of the good news radio show and is now the good news radio and podcast network yes, correct? It is. Exactly and right. podcast network yeah. um so keith clappity clap yeah. Yeah. thanks for joining us today oh thanks for having me and, it, and it's exciting too because i went on your podcast this yeah. same podcast when it was just a podcast yes. and it's like a network and there's multiple other podcasts and yeah. it's like young king excellence <laughs> getting a crack in yeah. like you know it's crazy it's crazy to think about like that time in a bit like that base like you've been there you was yeah there. you know yeah, what's yeah. Up. i was holding that sign yeah you know what's up yeah. exactly it's the sign people don't even know about the sign so yeah, yeah now that's that's classic right there if you held the sign you're a real one all right but we're real ones but it's like, oh, Disco, have you, well, I, I sometimes I'd be forgetting to like, I don't even be telling him who I'm interviewing. I, he'd just be pulling up and he'd be like, oh, hey, so what are we talking about today? It's I mean, man. <laughs> I'll jump in at some point, you know. Right, you understand. Hey, I'm yeah. just making sure it looks good. That's it. Hey, I'm doing my job. Right. So you started your podcast. What year was that? My very first one? Two, 2015. Yeah. What made you... Because 2015, what were we doing back in 2015? Nobody was podcasting. That's what I'm saying. Like, what made you want to do podcasting? Mm -hmm. uh, it was more so I wanted to do radio. That's how I decided. And, I, you know, it was kind of podcasting. But, I, you know, the idea of on demand was becoming way hotter for everything at that time. Yeah. So, um, you know, that's when people started streaming. Like, I think, right. like, 2015, Netflix well, wasn't what it is today. So, um, it became a thing, you know, on demand stuff so i kind of like seen it and merged into it but like i said it started from radio i wanted to be a radio personality mm. i saw how much howard stern had was making at one point what was it back then at that time he was making 80 million dollars a year <laughs> and his co-host was making 10 million that's so late i said well if i can do 10 percent as good as he did i'll be you know yeah. and i felt like i had something to say so yeah Podcasting, do you, or well, you're on a podcast right now, but before this one, do you have a podcast that you listen to? Uh, honestly, my favorite podcast is uh, Joe Button Shit. Mm. Uh -huh. Joe Button Podcast. That's, a, that's the one I listen to. Right. Yeah. And we're going to talk. Later, we'll ask you why, because it's like there's so many. Um, <clears throat> Like I was telling him, we're going to talk about like the trends, like my goal for today. And, you know, let's backtrack just really briefly. Everybody, you always know, I forgot to even say it, my bad. But if you're watching, if you're watching, if you're listening, wherever you're doing this from, we love you. We appreciate you for tuning in. Um, what you can do <laughs> is if you want to stay up to date on how you can get these podcasts, how you can get some of the deals that we're going to be offering, how you guys can, you know, get our cute little goodies from our sponsors, I want you guys to text the word knowledge to 21000, and that's how you keep in touch with us. And it is a text number, and believe it or not, if you text it, I do see what you say. <laughs> I got to get one of those. That's so cool. I yeah, like, text numbers. Text like, oh, ain't no man, crazy. I'm, missing out. I'm tripping. I didn't even realize, well, until I, like, so got the service. Up. It's so good. I'm going to send you my link. Yeah, my game up, <laughs> I'm going to send you my link. But, like, it's like um, when people text those 2100, 21,000 numbers, like, you can actually, like, if they were to say something, you could see that they text yeah. that phone number and you could respond to them. Mm -hmm. And I was just like, I wonder, like, um, why no one ever responds to me? <laughs> I be texting yes. those numbers, and right, I know you right, see, cause right. I, you know, like respond to me. But um, what? Uh -huh. Okay, I was it a smack? <laughs> um, but like, let's go to trends, right? Yeah, let's do it. Um, so, what different trends have you seen in the podcasting industry that were not here maybe in twenty two thousand five? 2005? Yeah. Uh, I mean, I don't know if podcasts even existed in 2005. Wait, no, not 2005. I'm going back way, way, way too far. I mean 15. Oh. Yeah. Well, hey, um, I think monetizing is a big trend. That wasn't there before. The market was very small. 
yeah. maybe three million dollars, and now it's you know um, cracked a billion, you know, in advertisement, easy. Yeah. So um, I think that's a big trend you can get paid off of. You couldn't get paid before. I think people are more comfortable with on-demand things now. That's became a norm. Yeah. Versus live, so I think that's a trend. And the the, the biggest one I would think is that people can find their uh, their tribe within podcasts and you can listen to a specific style of content not this general yeah you know one of the most popular podcasts is the bachelor you know it has nothing to do with nothing but a tv show but it's cult following has made it one of the top podcasts yeah that's what i was gonna ask you like what do you think makes podcasting so new, unique especially since you've been in this so long and you've captured the audience uh, I think just that capturing the audience, you know, capturing your tribe. Like you can make a podcast about anything, uh, being a mommy, being, mm-hmm. uh, you know, uh, people have true crime things where they just you know, soft puzzles. Yeah. I mean, I've seen a podcast on horror movies. That's their whole podcast on horror movies, and they have a huge following because that's a whole thing in itself. So mm-hmm. you can really do what you love to do and figure out a way to get paid from it, uh, giving podcasts. Yeah, and I mean, uh, you know, and I always say by the grace of God for everything that we do, that when we're successful, you've been able to turn it into something that now gives other people an outlet. Yeah. Um, that's naturally what happens, you know. Mm-hmm. You just can't build it for yourself, Yeah, I guess. And it becomes bigger than you. I wonder, is there a podcast? <laughs> I'm so extra, I always. <laughs> Never mind. I'm trying to think about the different kind of weird podcasts. What kind of weird podcasts have you scrambled upon? Or like the uh, one where you're like, how the heck is there a podcast about this? Porn podcast. I could imagine. <laughs> yeah, porn, porn podcast. That's, I saw that was like, oh. I saw a one on ghost hunting. Um, now they're starting to get, which is a lot of people are going to miss this category. If you hop on it soon, you'll be able to get it. But like kind of animation type storytelling podcast. I wanted that, those yeah. definitely would, that would have yeah. to have visuals oh, for sure. No, it does not. No? I was going to say, yeah, that's what makes it interesting. See, right? and, and this is the thing, I think people try to merge the visual with podcasting so much, Yeah. and fine, that's like a new thing, but there's still a sense of everybody drives in a car, everybody yeah. travels. So there's still a huge market that won't disappear for just audio. Mm. So people miss that a lot. You know, so um, being able to storytell and now use sound effects and themes yeah. and really bring out, you know, uh, uh, make people paint the picture in their mind, that's way more powerful than mm-hmm. any uh, animation. Most of the time, the book is better than the movie. Yeah, the book always, like, for the most of but the book is usually always better than the movie. That's because you create your own. Mm-hmm. So it's like with podcasting, like with podcasting over YouTube, it's like the person that the person who essentially is creating the story. So like if, if you're like if you're out here and you're listening, whatever, like you're like, OK, bet I'm trying to get myself a podcast, too. Like it's all about the story that you're telling and like yeah. I, building that community. It's kind of like I feel like it's kind of like Instagram with just like closing your eyes, though. Yeah, it's, it's capturing more than the attention. Yeah. It's capturing the emotion. That's why I always say, like, I tell people use use music because it's a different part of the body you're capturing while they're listening yeah. like music with no lyrics just your body responds to still so if you can get their mind and their body like you gotta sing nah for sure so let's let's give people i'm sure everyone are you know when you first started out um, even like i'm just first starting out like you know invest there's things you gotta invest in oh, yeah. like equipment and stuff so if somebody is just starting out so what kind of equipment did you first use when you like were just down in the basement getting a crack in? <laughs> um, and what was, do you say the, the overhead was to create it back then when you were just starting yeah. and stuff like that? Um, $400. You got 400 bucks, you can get you some good stuff. Um, I always recommend get you a good microphone. Mm-hmm. If you don't buy it right, you will buy it twice. Or thrice. <laughs> or four times. Yeah. Trying to, trying to save a buck, get you a good microphone. There's certain things you don't play with. And I think if you say, okay, I want to be a professional, yeah. then go professional. Like don't play with yourself mm. and start yourself on this track of, like I still have my mixer from the basement that I still use when I travel or do mobile yeah. stuff. I still have my first microphone. I still, it's still rolling. It's booming right now, yeah. you know? So that's cause I invested in the right equipment uh, early on. 
Um, did I ask you a question? It yeah, did. Yeah. And I feel like I was like, is Damari yeah. about to say something? Like, <laughs> <laughs> it's like you caught your thought and it left. It did. Nah, it's okay. It happens. Happen. Happen. It happens to me all the time. Word. So did you find it? I mean, my, my thing is on it, right? Uh, it's, it's not about... It's, it's, it's a little off subject uh, because... The thing that always interests me is that you just told somebody the thing to start a podcast for four hundred dollars, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. And you just said you started in your basement. Yeah. Right? Well, at first I started in my room. Actually, I didn't have no microphone. I actually used this is crazy. I actually used my cell phone. I would hook up my headphones to it, mm-hmm. and I would use my headphones as my mic into my phone. I would record into my phone, and that's and I was putting it out through like a. What would be equivalent to like anchor today? Right, right, right. Like, that's literally what I did for six months. Yo, see, and, and so, so this is this is what I'm getting at with that. You really want to do this shit. It yeah. was not a trend for you. It wasn't a thing where it was just like, yo, I wanted to. I mean, you you, you mentioned you wanted to get into radio, mm-hmm. but you, this is something you wanted to do. It wasn't like, oh, everybody doing a podcast. Let me hop on a podcast. Right? No, 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 not at all. Um, and I didn't really want to do it at first. Um, I was trying out a few things. I was in the network marketing, um, and then that led me into like trying to be some type of like life coach. I felt like at the time that was like my calling, just trying to help people. And then I got tired of running behind people. Like, and I was like, all right, I'd rather just make an audio thing. And like for me, I got a master's degree in communications. And in grad school, one of the projects was you had to do a thirty-minute radio show. Oh, that's like. And you know, and record it and submit it at the. Where'd you get your master's in? Communications. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. Um, but I remember doing it, and so I was like, oh, I can just, I know how to make a free 30-minute shindig, you know, from my phone, so that's kind of what started, and then I think after six months, I said, okay, do I want to do this or not, right. and then that's when I invested that $400, mm-hmm. what, I invested at the time about 600 and it was almost $700, right, because I was like, no, I, I felt like I needed to do it, and I wrote up quarters and nickels, no BS. To, to make that to make it happen. Yes, I did. That's crazy. By any means. Yep. You know what's crazy to me? It, it's, it's interesting because there's somebody out there right now who's like, yo, I want to start a podcast. And you just told them exactly how to do it, and they're going to still make an excuse on why. Of course. But you know why? That's because people live in fear. Like, you know? Yeah. And, and they let their fear, like, override them. And it's like they have to be like inched and pulled and inched and pulled until yeah. like the, the fear subsides when if they just realize that fear is actually not a real thing, <laughs> it's mental. So it's like I agree, no, hundred percent. You're right on point with that. It's right. not a real thing. So I do got a question. So what, what was the what was the driving force to keep you going? Because I didn't know them first, that first five episodes, first ten episodes, <laughs> you like, yo, I only get this many views, uh, I get yeah. paid, you know. Um I guess I have this uh, formula that I know over. I know this equal this over time. I know over time is part of the formula. So I'm not afraid to put the time in and get better. Like I already know that. Right. So like there was one point in time where like after I made that investment, I said, okay, six months. How long are you gonna do this before you just decide this is for you or you should put all your energy? Cause you have to put all your energy into it. Right? Yeah, and I sure. also understood that. So like, what am I gonna put all my energy to? I need something, and this was it. So I said, if I'm gonna do this, I said, okay, Keith, try it for two years, three years. Mm-hmm. Go hard for three years, give it all, see how far you get. Right. But at you least know? you gave yourself three years. Yeah. Like people be like, I'm gonna go thirty days. Like. <laughs> but that was after yeah. six months. So after six so. months, then you said you came back. What did you analyze? Like, what were some of like your um, your factors? Um, is this, is, this, is this a direction I want to grow in? Because I, I knew for me whatever I did was going to go. Like, I knew that. Yeah. So I, I had that confidence in myself. Like, no matter what I do. Like, I would still be here if I was a shoestring salesman. Mm. Like, I would still be talking about shoestrings instead. You know, if I was yeah. a plumber, I would still be here. I want everybody to take notes of what he said. He didn't say go in. He said grow. Yay. <laughs> <laughs> take note to that. Yep. You know? This is what we need our here. thing. We gotta get our sound effects. See, that's the only thing that we don't have right now. I've been doing it with my mouth. Like, clink, wait, no, it's not a clink, clink. What is it? Oh, bam, 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 bam. So, like, you know, every time someone drops some knowledge, it's gonna go. I just gotta get one. Somebody send me the bam, 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 bam. <laughs> I can you one what is it called? What is our, like, blow horn. It's not a blow. Well, you it's know? the one they play in the Jamaican club. Like, yeah, you know? that's me. It's oh, okay. 
DJ Listen, Horn. He said, look, he said he got it. Okay, good. <laughs> I bet, I bet, I bet. All right, listen, y'all heard that then. Keith is gonna get us the blow horn. Yeah, I'll send it to it's you. called a blow horn. I'll send it MP3 tile, yep. I bet. And then we're gonna play it on here anytime somebody drops some knowledge. All right, yeah. All right, bet. Word. Word. All right, so um, more trends that are going on. So. Tell us, because so I was looking at, okay, so basically I was looking at like the, the stats of how many podcasts there are. So at the end of the year last year, there were about 700,000 podcasts that were created um, after 2019, whatever, accumulated total. So I wonder how many podcasts do you think got created during this pandemic? Oh man, look, just based on how much information, like I, how many times I got hit up about it, yeah. you know, um, a lot. But I think it's perfect timing. Yeah. So was this was was this was this timing? Because I think like COVID or this pandemic has done different things for different people. For yeah. certain industries, it's crashed and it's like it's you're you're done. Certain industries, it's created stuff for them. Yeah. So what has the pandemic, in your opinion, done for the podcasting industry? Um, I think it it made it easier. It like Zoom blew up, and for podcasters, that was huge. Mm -hmm. Everybody was using Zoom. Um, so it made it easy, mm. and uh, that was what I think drove people to at least want to give it a shot. Yeah, it's but it's always been easy. Mm. But now, but people were like I said once again, people are so sometimes tied to the video that they it just it's like it's two battles you're fighting, you know. Mm. So, um, but uh, Zoom made the the video easy and the recording easy, so it made it easy to come get people that complete feel of video uh, mm. and. Uh, audio together. Have you seen stream? I think it's called StreamYard, right? <coughs> have, you, uh, have you seen StreamYard? Yeah, I know about StreamYard. Uh, so StreamYard is basically for Damari mm -hmm. or, you know, and whoever else is like Disco. Um, StreamYard is basically like a platform where you can go live. Yeah. You can go live on like YouTube. You can go live on Facebook, all these things at once. But it's like shorthand production quality because yeah. It's like the Zoom screens, but you can like put titles. You could put your logo there. You can, you know, you could build the your background out, and it could look like what yeah, you needed no, to look like, pretty got, much. Got it on lock. They're nice. But one thing that I haven't, I haven't seen it. I haven't seen you. You're not able to stream your art to Instagram, which I haven't done the research to figure mm -hmm. out why not. But I was definitely seeing how they were saying like the whole video podcasting component and how live podcasting is actually like on the next verge of a yep. new wave of what's happening so, so it's coming right back to live radio mm -hmm. and I, I i i swear i, I said after like that's a that's why even on the good news um all of our shows have always been live yeah like we've always every show that signed to our network is live and then we podcast them because we feel like we can give you the experience of right now. Yeah. So it's coming back to that. Um, and I think Instagram Live has a lot to do with it. Facebook Live. It's just the idea that, you know, whatever is not there. It's always say it's not where people are. It's about where they're going. Yeah. Like, people are trying to get people like, oh, everybody's doing this. We got to hop on. It's like, okay, but where are they about to go? So you, so you can get there first. Yeah. So, yeah. So what are you doing to keep yourself ahead of the trends? Um, live, I think that uh, just live and allowing people to chat live with all of our uh, shows on the network yeah. is an element that nobody has. Um, and then we just released our next version of our app. I know, congratulations. Thank Throw some so claps much. out. Yes. So that's made it um, also much better for uh, all of the shows and the users especially. Yeah. So um, I think the live being able to call in to the show. Um, and you know, that's just a beautiful thing. If, yeah. Like somebody can call in right now and be like, well, I got a question. Or, you know, that's, a, that's, that's like, ba that is like literally running what, in a network, yes, like, you know? So yes, yes. how, how does it feel? Like, how do you feel? Like if you were to just have to throw out like two to three words of, from that first day when you were like, yo, this is Keith and welcome to the Good News Radio. And now you're here today like, listen, y'all, we just got our second app updated. Yeah. You can call into our shows from the studio, not one studio, two studios. Yeah, we got two stations. So give me three words right now. Man, three words, okay. Uh, I always say crazy. I, I use that one, mm -hmm. and which is what I want it. I don't want it, I don't want it to be a crazy ride. Um, and then I'll say expect it. This is like everything that we've done. At some point, we expected it to happen. Yeah. And then 
uh, I would say uh, one of one. I don't know if that's a, I that's think a that word. was the one of one. It was right. kind of three. It was, it was one word. It was one word, two numbers. Right. Just, <laughs> hey, I'm just getting, I'm getting where I fit in. All right, all right, all right. All right, we'll take it, though. But unique, then. Yeah, okay. I bet. Yeah. That's exciting. Yeah. Like, it's, it's exciting and exciting for anyone who else is on a journey. Are you first-generation entrepreneur? Yes. Hey, right. another yeah. one. Yeah. I feel like I don't even know how I just keep going in a row and getting... Everyone so far has been first generation entrepreneur, yeah. except for wait, was Tanya first generation? I would not No, she wasn't. No, no, her dad was an entrepreneur. She yeah. was second, but she had an experience. So as a first generation entrepreneur, what were what was one hurdle that you had to like overcome when it came to your mindset? Ooh, uh, man, that's a really good question. I think uh, I didn't know what entrepreneur really meant, so I think. Learning what an entrepreneur was, mm -hmm. uh, most people think it's just one thing, but every entrepreneur is literally different depending on the industry. Mm -hmm. um, so, I think the biggest hurdle was learning what it actually what it actually meant to be yeah. an entrepreneur, and uh, nobody ever taught me that. And roughly so, our parents come from a time where there were secure jobs, you know, um, and stuff. You know, it was different. It cost yeah. hundred thousand dollars to buy a house, a nice big two story house now. Yeah. You gotta. It's not happening. You gotta work a full time job, <laughs> grab up, and you know do all these things just to pay rent. Yeah. So those things, you know, my dad was like, "Yeah, I worked at McDonald's and paid my rent." I'm like, "That's crazy." Yeah. So I think it's just a different time. But so learning what it was to be an entrepreneur was the biggest hurdle. It's the first step. Yeah. I think the beautiful conclusion to like all of it is that like for everyone who's out there, whether you're first, second, third generation, you guys, we can all, everyone in the world, right? We can come from different experiences, different upbringings, but we could all end up at the same table. Yeah, you can right. still end up at the same table. Like don't take like saying like, oh, I didn't have no one to look up to or I didn't get taught that or they didn't wow. teach me that like, I didn't get this when I was a young kid or da 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 da. It's not about like what you got back then. It's about what you're gonna do to get to where you need to get to. Yeah, and like, I know? think I think like I said, my parents. I give them a lot of credit because they they laid the foundation. Yeah. For me to jump off. Boom. Of. Like, Boom. I didn't have to start from a certain place because if they had they had good jobs and security and insurance and all that stuff. Yeah. So they took care of the security. So it's like, and the whole idea was you know be better than me. So it's kind of like now I feel like okay if they can achieve that then. I can I achieve. Nice I can actually yeah. build something there for us, you know, or whatever yeah. the case may be. So, I give them a huge amount of credit for me even having the spirit that I have because, uh, you know, I owe, I owe a lot to them. Yeah, yeah, no, I think I think that's a, uh, you know, I, I'm gonna be honest with you. I I, I, t I tend to get annoyed with people sometimes when it comes to um, when it comes to that, you know. Like, I, I'm happy that you took it that way because everybody don't have that same mindset. Right. You know what I'm saying? Everybody, some people got the mindset of, oh, I want to become an entrepreneur, but, oh, I never seen it. Or mm. my parents only yeah. worked this or da da da. And, uh, you know, that's, that's kind of where they plateau. So they don't even, being an entrepreneur to them yeah. is not even in their mindset, but they speak it, they yeah. want it, they see it, they're like, oh, it's out there. But, Again, like Kira says, there is really just fear, you know. So for somebody like you, who's seen that, but instead of saying like, "Oh, I'm gonna stop there," you you looked at it like it's almost a disservice to them to not go yeah. to the next level. You know, all their I mean? sacrifice, like, like all those yeah, like, not to just be where they are. They don't want they yeah. just, like so. I understand that's the point, you know. And um, so I, I always, you know, like I said, I always pay homage to. To my parents, they they gave me what I need to go learn for myself. Right. You know, so they gave me a platform to build off of. I didn't have to, yeah, you know, I didn't have to go through what they went through. Yeah. And, you know what I'm saying? Like yeah. my grandmother, we didn't have to migrate from the south and like. <laughs> you know, <laughs> right. No, I mean for sure, like, like from the south yeah, yeah. To California. We don't have like the and we don't, we don't have those like we walked in the snow forty yards. No, it's, it's like I mean it's still racist, but it's way less racist like than it was. You know what I mean? So right. it's like opportunities, everything is different. So. Um, you know, I understand that for their time, it was a different, it was a different necessary yeah. fight or whatever the case may be for, for most, most black people, especially. Right. And I want to say this too, man, if you, if you out here and you not, 
taking advantage of the foundation that the people laid before you. Yeah. You, you, you're a selfish piece of shit. <laughs> I'll just leave it at that. They didn't have internet. Just think about that. You get what I'm saying? And like, it's still like, getting to people, it. You, they, they laid the foundation. Y'all going off of it. So you just staying off of what they paid and you not taking it forward. Y'all, you on some mm. other stuff. Check this out. Most, most of y'all couldn't be an entrepreneur without the internet. Right. For real. So, so, so think right. about how people that would wipe out. Yeah. Right. Right. Because you need, most Come people on, are man. running ads. Most people Let's are, Let's talk, you know. I mean, internet. That's YouTube. That's, um, that's internet. Yeah. And that's because, no. yeah, they like, to your point. And, and then, then even it's the worst like, thing is, like. You just doing it because it's convenient. Even you know, to this day, though, yeah, there's certain. You know, they may have done it. There's right. countries and stuff that don't, like, I, they don't even still give access to internet. Yep. Like, you know. Yep. It's like. That's crazy to even think about the fact that there's still places in the world right now where like the internet is restricted and oh, like absolutely. in China they're not playing that. Right. Oh yeah, no, it, it, goes, it goes down. Like yeah. that's what was so I ain't gonna lie to you guys, and this is so off topic and we'll probably edit it out. But um I was so disappointed when uh when WeChat was getting to is getting to <laughs> yeah, I don't do even get, remember that. Do you guys know we are not or well WeChat is like the um Chinese app that they mm. use to communicate and stuff there in the U.S. is banning like WeChat. WhatsApp, but yeah, it's like WhatsApp, but it's like a Chinese server. Like to get onto WeChat, like someone in China has to approve you, or someone right. who's on there has to uh. like give you authorization. <laughs> yeah, because they do everything on it. Like it's really, really high in technology. Um, but it did break my spirits. Uh, sure. But I mean, you can't WeChat these podcasts. Uh, you know what? They probably do have podcasting on WeChat already. Yeah. It's like a, it's like a everything. There, man, there's, man, let me tell you, there's, there's apps. I'm just gonna say this. There's apps right now, that are like social media apps that are just out of it. Mm. They trying to, they trying to break in. No, yeah, that's what, like, every, I feel like, just out of it. I was wondering, does Pandora have um, podcasts? Um, I I'm, you know what? I, I feel like I've seen that. They're not. I don't know for sure, but I feel like I've seen something about that. I'm, okay. I wouldn't doubt them not trying to get in the game, though. Yeah, because I feel like right now, like, platforms, like, every single platform is, like, starting to build their extension as a podcast thing. Be careful with the platforms. Yeah. I'm telling you. I'm, I'm, we, Do you think the, it's better? Do, no, game. I don't even mind. Tell them, like. Like this is here to knowledge is key. I don't know, like I don't know, I don't know how deep we about to get. Like, tell them. I'm like, a real so, surface left, but um, be careful with the platforms. Cause I had to, I had a certain situation with like iHeart, where um, through a third party, they had the content. So what iHeart, when it's on their content, their con they are taking control of the RSS feed, and people don't really know. What that really means, mm -hmm. short term, it stands for like rich site sum summary. Basically like your IP address for your podcast. Yeah, because you can put people's RSS feeds on your page. Yes, okay. but a lot of places don't let you change the RSS feed. Like some places let you change the RSS feed if you want to like switch over or whatever mm -hmm. the case may be. Not iHeart. Like they say, nope, everything mm -hmm. in this RSS feed, it, literally they were saying it belongs to us. So you have to get permission to get your content back. Oh, shit. oh wow yes from them they have to so you know if you you know small time they probably no big deal but yeah. if you got some some some, some things rolling then just make sure you got your legal team in, in action well hey you signed up didn't you oh it's in that fine print <laughs> <laughs> that's why he said be careful read <laughs> read i mean up. read people's terms like you know i mean, I'm, I mean so do you think it's better because it's so how is your network it's it's so operated on your own server no, no. so so what i do i do i borrow a third party server okay and what i've done successfully i think especially with the new app is pretty much detach ourselves from the server visually to the public yeah. even though on the back end we still are the public don't know you know who well is, they do today is, no i'm just well, like <laughs> I, mean, yeah, I mean but but which is nah, fine you know i mean because it's free game no i mean at the end of the day yeah. it's a it's a it's a means it's a way that people don't understand that building a network there's more than one way to skin a cat yeah, yeah. like you and, know and they and they allow you like, yeah they set it up so you can do so like yeah. there's things that you can do on your own you can get your you can actually get your own rss feed and not go through any Third party, you don't have to go through Anchor, you don't have to go through SoundCloud, nobody. Yeah. It's just a process of doing it, but you can do it. Right. And you can you can be independent. And I'm learning this way later, you yeah. know, in the game, but you can. I'll recommend doing it because it's completely yours. Every time you sign up with 
uh, even SoundCloud, they'll, they'll give you your RSS feed and then charge you to store it. So, <laughs> so think about it, like that's, that's the game. Like, oh yeah, this is your RSS feed, sure it's yours, you can do as you want, but if you want more than five episodes, you're gonna have to pay store it ten dollars a month mm -hmm. you know if you want to keep this rss feed and you want to maintain it because that's what all your statistics are so yeah that's your whole body of work it right. literally is everything it's right. like your social yeah and w one thing that we're not going to get into because it would literally be like a whole seminar up in here is data and understanding and you and paying attention to the data and the data that podcasting are, you know, the, how you can sell, not even sell, whatever, sell your data, you know, the right way, how you can use the data to build products and extend your brand and da 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 da. Go do your own research on it. That's the one thing, like, that's the one thing we're not gonna get deep into, but just make sure that if you are about to, you know, jump into this podcasting game or if you're in the podcasting world and you're like, why isn't my brand growing? Like, why isn't my podcast booming? Like, maybe you're not paying attention to your data and you're not reading your data properly. Mm -hmm. So go back and reread it to see what it's telling you. Because your data is always gonna tell you exactly what is going on. Yeah, but it also would discourage you though. Yeah. yeah. And and I think that I think that so many people go for numbers itself. One of the wisest people, I got it, I'm gonna shout out to, to Dino and Gary podcast. They taught me so they've been podcasting before podcasting was podcasting. Yeah. And they make forty thousand dollars last time that I checked. It could be much higher now. I'm sure it is, but let's make it forty thousand dollars a year off their podcast. Mm -hmm. He used to always tell me, like, look, everybody will tell you, oh, they got a thousand, a million listeners. He said, but keep asking this question, how much money are they making? No, for sure. Right. Because it's great to have, you know, the listens, how much money are you making? So I guess it comes down to a point where, what are you doing this for? Are you doing this to make money? Um, because you're going to have to really, really figure out how to do that. Yeah. Um, so I think that's, a, that's an important key, just... Why you're getting into it? Yeah, I'm, you know what? Piggybacking off of that, uh, how how do you personally feel when you hear that? I don't know what was the number seventeen thousand or, or like all the new podcasts. Oh, seven hundred thousand. Seven hundred thousand people have come into the podcast game. You know what I mean? Um, I, I think it's great because it's bringing more more money and more attention to the market. Yeah. What I think I've done differently is I've I've built something where it's an alliance. We got seventeen network shows. We got two stations working on our third. Now we're about to go into the Latinx market. Mm. That's our next station. So um, we're going to continue to build. And we have so many people with us that we come stronger than anybody. It's kind of like we built a culture. Um, we are uh, we are a force, you right. know, and, and it, because we're together. And we are very specific on who we bring into our family. Um, like uh, Michael, who's the sports manager, he always sees it. It's just like TDE, bro. You like... You get the right people and everybody goes together. Yeah. Right, right. And, uh, and that's what we've done successfully. And uh, that's what makes us such a force. And then also offering what we offer. Like, so we're live. So we're going to survive. And we got probably what you want. Yeah. You know, so we're going to survive no matter which way the market goes. And um, I think that we are, we've made, we've cemented ourselves. Um, that's dope. So you looked at it. So basically you just said, you, you looked at it and you said, all right, everybody want to be getting the podcast game. I'm already here. I'm already established. Me. Yeah, right. I mean, um, yeah, and then what we start, what we didn't do, what we started doing, we started allowing people who were not a part of our network to rent out our space, mm. and that allowed us to give a lot of mentorship in the podcast game. Had the conversations um, that we need to have, meet the people that were in the industry doing what we were doing. It just allowed our, our brand to expand. Mm. Um, now, not only do we have a network and we're putting people on the map, but we're out, now we're giving people opportunities who may not have their own equipment or space or whatever. Right to um, create quality content and feel comfortable. This is the space you do it in. So right. it's like going to the studio if you're, if you're a rapper or a singer. Yeah. So that's what that's what we did and uh, that's that's helped us cement ourselves as well. That's right, man. Hey, let's clap it up. Yeah. You can clap yeah. yourself too. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, look, like, look, you can clap for yourself too. I know our claps are not giant. No, no, all, yeah, I'll take, all, I'll take all the claps. <laughs> we had some claps in the back. I'm going to add, I'm gonna add somebody stomping and crumping and everything in the I'll back. Take some, I'll take all claps. Well, first of all, thank you so much for coming. I feel like you gave out so much information and anyone who's watching, um, listening, watching, however you're, you know, skinning your cat. Yeah, uh, <laughs>
Uh, let everybody know how they can learn more about the Good News Radio, how they can learn more about you, and how they can do whatever they got to do. Uh, well, um, go to the to website, uh, www.tgnradio.net. Um, you can learn more about us there and what we do, everything that we do. Um, I like the music in the background, it's cool. Um, it's not cool. It's, but. All good. <laughs> it's like theme music right now. Right. Yeah. Right. It, was, it was kind of like like you was coming out the ring. Hey, you know, hey, you all right, know, go, right, go for it. Yeah. You know, but um, but uh, not only that, for myself, uh, I'm not that as important as as a network. So uh, follow the Good News Radio because even though I'm here representing the entire organization, like we got 40 personalities, and I got a, 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 a administrative team of four, um, and without them, like. We wouldn't be where we're at now. So, mm-hmm. so follow Good News Radio everywhere. I bet. So, everybody, thank you guys so much, so much, so much, so much. I hope you guys learn some things. Leave things in our comments. Um, if you guys are on YouTube and stuff, let Disco know how his face looks. And, and, and when, when he showed the face, screenshot it and then let me know <laughs> what, what you noticed. It's pin. <laughs> But if you guys want to um, stay in touch with what we're doing, be sure to text the word knowledge to 21,000. Um, that's how you can get new episodes directly to your cell phone each and every week. Um, we do this every single Thursday at 4 p.m. Um, so we will see you guys on the next one. And Keith, um, I don't know, take us out. What kind of, you, you got like a Keith Good News like take, little you know, moniker? I, uh, man, you know, I, you know, mine is I always just, uh, I always kind of like, Bop to like a little music. It's music in the background, so I just yeah. be like, yeah, all right. See you next time. <laughs> <laughs> all right, Bye. you guys. Bye. I'm Kiranae, yeah. and we will see yeah. you guys next time on Knowledge is Key. Hey. hey.